If you've ever tried to turn in your rifle to the armory only to be turned away for a total of three times to re-clean your rifle, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Guys, like and comment. The comment section is absolutely out of control. YouTube has actually tried to control you guys, but it doesn't work because you guys are savages. <laughs> if you're looking to support the channel, the biggest support of the channel right now is Big Daddy Unlimited. Big Daddy Unlimited is like the Costco of the gun world. Uh, you gotta subscribe, 99 cents for the first month, link right below. Uh, but then prices are super cheap. They sell, they literally do sell things very cheap. There's a reason I have them on my page. It's not, it's not like a meme, it's real. So get in there and check it out because they help us out quite a bit. If you're looking for bags, gloves, plaid or ammunition, Vertex and LEX ammunition, discount code GRANTHUM. Finally, one final sponsor we want to thank is Orbital uh, Computers. So Orbital Computers um, sent me a computer for editing and doing all that kind of stuff as I point to my computer in the corner uh, so I could edit in 4K and all that kind of crap because it's kind of, you need a powerful computer. So anyhow, they make sick stuff. Let's support them. Let's show them our support for um, helping the channel out and uh, give them some purchases and all that type of stuff. Discount code grant them with them as well. Ladies, gentlemen, and my often forgotten but not by me. M203 Grenade Launchers, welcome to the channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about a very interesting pistol, thank you ATF. Uh, we have the Triarch TSR-15S. So Triarch, what is my relationship with Triarch? Well, they have, if you know anything about me, you know I've done videos on their rifle and their pistol up to this point. Um, as far as cash, there's no cash flow. Ammunition is provided for by me as far as the full disclosures are going. Um, as far as people who work there, I'm friends with them. Uh, they're good buddies of mine, much like many other companies, but as you know, um, I like a lot of different companies and their people, but I will still destroy products. So don't think that that influences my review in any way when it comes to the Triarch. M much like many other companies, Triarch gives you the ability to customize your rifle a certain amount to make it um, applicable for whatever you need it for, whether that be for uh, you know, duty use for military use for law enforcement use or uh, boogaloo or basement dwelling <laughs> operations, any of that type of stuff. You can make sure that this rifle is going to be best for those types of situations. Now, there's not a, uh, as much flexibility as you have with some other companies. Um, that's due to them kind of sticking with some products that they've made. But I think that there are some really good features on these rifles. I think you guys will want to look at. Um, I really have liked what they have done with this particular rifle. So let's stop talking, let's get into it. So first off, we're gonna go tip to butt like we always do on our firearms and we're gonna get into this. So starting from the tip right here, we have a Surefire Warcomp. Um, there are multiple different muscle devices that you can have installed. As you know, I run a lot of Surefire suppressors as I did on this one right here. Chose a Surefire Warcomp. I have it neutral timed, um, which is kind of their standard go-to. I'd highly recommend neutral timing on Warcomp. Um, on the war comp, I, know, I think that's what works best. So let's talk about the barrels. It's what makes track really interesting. So we have a 12.5 barrel right here, but specifically they are called track barrels. They use a very interesting type of rifling that is basically a combination of traditional rifling and polygonal rifling. And what this does is it allows for one, less deformation on the round as it travels down the barrel, which leads to a tighter seal as far as gas leakage. This allows them to play a lot with the size of the gas port on these weapons and make them very, very small. As well, because you have less deformation of the bullet, you have better accuracy, in my opinion. Now, are most of us gonna see it? No, but these barrels definitely will give you sub MOA with the correct ammunition, um, obviously, as long as there's consistency between them. And I've definitely seen that to be the case when it comes to this barrel. Um, in the past, I've taken track barrels and pushed them out to 700 yards. They're very capable. And that's not to say that other AR-15 barrels are not. There are multiple other AR-15 barrels that can do the same, but the track does make it exceptionally easy. With the gassing system, because you have such a good seal, they're able to go with a very small gas port as well as a mid-length. This makes for a very smooth recoil impulse. Another cool thing about it is that their um, gas blocks uh, can be pinned. This is really good, I think, for a lot of applications. They also seal off the gas blocks very well. One, you don't have a lot of gas leakage. You know, a lot of times I'm shooting, my finger will be absolutely black. That's not the case with the Triarch guns. What that also allows them to do is that because you have a very sealed system, much like a Knight's Armament, um, they are very able to precisely control 
um, gas port sizes and the buffer springs and that allows them to balance this rifle very well to ensure that it's both reliable and very soft shooting. And that is absolutely the case when it comes to this particular firearm. It is ex exceptionally well gassed and well balanced. I've been extremely pleased with the performance I've gotten from this rifle. Now a couple other things that go along with this. Um, their barrels have a new contour compared from what they used to do and they're a very balanced profile now. I very much so have enjoyed the contour that they've done. Now contours play a lot into accuracy and a couple other things. And they've done a very good job of balancing the profile with the amount of accuracy and barrel harmonics. They've done a great job. Um, big props to Triarch for what they've done. All right, let's move on. Let's get off Triarch stick. Well, just kidding. We're not going to. So we have <laughs> the rail right here. The rail is the Trilock rail. When I first saw this rail, I was immediately struck um, both by the looks and how functional it looked. So we'll talk about a couple things I like. First off, um, you have M-Lock running the entire uh, way all the way around. You have seven different positions. Um, they're much like the Geisleys in the fact that they're not offset from each other. I don't think that's that big of a deal. A lot of people make a big deal of that, but it is a very thick, <laughs> with three Cs, strong rail. Another thing that's really cool is the wedge lock system has a steel barrel nut uh, in military trials has been exceptionally reliable. In addition to that, the QD slots right here, uh, which are built on on the left and right hand sides are also steel. Uh, a lot of QD slots are aluminum. And the problem with that is that you're eventually going to wear through them. They'll give out probably in a bad time. So Trark did a really good job ensuring that this would be a rail that was fit and ready for hard use. So I can definitely appreciate that. Now they are also anti-rotation. So once you lock them in, that QD is not going to rotate. That's precisely what I want from a QD slot on a rail. I think they did a really good job there. Another cool thing about the Triarchs um, is that the upper and the lower, when they get them in from the factory, they are forged. Um, they find the ones that fit the tightest together and then they serialize both those parts and they keep them together throughout the build process. What you get from this is a upper and lower that are really tied together and they don't wobble. Is wobble such a big deal? No. Um, a lot of very reliable weapons that I have um, have a little bit of wobble. But you have noise introduced and a couple other things and I think that the least amount of wobble is probably for the best. You do need flex, but I think that they ride the kind of balance between that very well when it comes to the Triarch. I can definitely appreciate the craftsmanship that goes into the mating of these two upper and lowers together. If you're not familiar with Triarch, they do exceptional uh, seracoding work both on uh, their rifles and their pistols. Like my Tri-11 that I did a review on forever ago has a very cool kind of subdued multicam black, uh, very LARPy <laughs> um, camouflage pattern, but it looks good. They did a great job with it. So. My point is that they are very good at what they do. All right, moving over to the bolt carrier group. So this gun is exceptionally dirty. Um, I put probably, at this point, 3,000 rounds through it. Um, I've been extremely happy with its performance. No malfunctions or anything of that kind. Um, but anyhow, that's why this should be, this bolt carrier group should be silver, but it is currently black from um, all the shooting. But in any case, this bolt carrier group is MP3 coated. I really enjoy MP3 coatings on bolt carrier groups. I think it makes them very slick, very easy to clean. Um, I have an older bolt carrier group from Triarch that's MP3 coated and that thing has seen um, at least in excess of 10,000 rounds with no problems. So I have um, little doubt that this will survive just as well. Um, in addition to that, their bolt carrier groups are also pinned properly, staked properly. They do a really good job of quality control checking everything before they put them into their guns. They also have that nice little logo on there. Texas represent, I guess. <laughs> okay, moving down to the lower right here. Um, pretty standard. So we have our magazine release on our right-hand side. Now, what's a little bit different about this is that I opted for the Ambi uh, magazine release in case you need to use that left hand, do all that good stuff. So I have it on that side. Very easy to release. We have our bolt release on the left hand side, no bolt release on the right hand side. This isn't a fully ambidextrous rifle, but again, that's not really a big deal to me. It's not something that I'm always looking for uh, in rifles. There are other rifles that do that very well, like LMT and Knight's Armament, but these are really good for what they're designed for. Okay, like many other companies, Trark did a good job of realizing when they need to buy something that's already well made, when they need to make it themselves. When it came to the safety, um, there's already an excellent safety on the market from Radian. So in my case, I have mine set at the 45 degree throw, which I love on my AR-15 safeties. So we've talked about a lot, but we've avoided our favorite part, which is ghosting the trigger. So with the triggers on the Triarch systems, what they do is you have a mil-spec and you have a mil-spec enhanced, and then of course you can do um, 
any number of other triggers like geysers and stuff. So I have the Triarch Enhanced. So what they do is they um, hand fit these parts and in addition they add JP Springs. This makes for a really, really good trigger. It's only an additional $25 and I can't advocate for it enough. I measured it on my trigger pull gauge at around 3.6 pounds. So let's go ahead and play a little Unchained Melody and let's get this trigger together. All right, we're gonna go ahead and put tension in just a, maybe a 0.3 millimeters of movement. Solid, crisp of break at around 3.6 pounds. Single stage trigger, let's feel that reset. Very positive. Um, again, I'm sliding it forward like a millimeter. Okay, let's try that one more time. Love it. So it definitely feels like a good single stage trigger. Uh, very little take up and a very crisp break at around 3.6 pounds. Perfect. This gun begs to be fired fast. It wants speed. It begs for speed. K2 grip from Magpul is a great choice as well. That nice uh, shallow grip angle really helps when I'm shouldering the rifle and shooting in many modern stances. So um, excellent choice on them there. The Radian uh, charging handle is also an excellent choice. Many great charging handles out there. I love Radians personally. Uh, they have the SD on this particular one, which helps with a lot of the gas blowback that you have from suppressor usage and that type of thing, which I think is absolutely necessary on an AR-15 type system since you have a little bit more gas than a traditional system. So excellent choice on them there. There are different types of radians you can get. Um, I'm typically gonna recommend the SD. Receiver extension. So here's another cool thing that they have done. So in addition to a very well-balanced gas system, they have an exceptional buffer system. So we have in here a Volter A5 system. The Volter A5 is essentially a rifle length buffer system in your smaller rifles. This allows for uh, more space allows for a better recoil impulse and allows for less bolt bounce and a whole lot of other things that go along with the AR-15. I think it's one of the greater innovations in AR-15 design along with several other things that we'll talk about in the future. So when you combine all this together, you get for an exceptionally soft shooting weapon. Um, I have other weapons that shoot as softly as this gun, but they cost a lot more and I've spent time myself ensuring that they were balanced for what I did. Rarely have I gotten a rifle from the factory that's as well balanced as this one is. Uh, when you pull the trigger, nothing happens. The weapon hovers into place and it perfectly balances itself. I can't say enough good things about the build quality and how good of a job that they did with this particular build, uh, especially with a 12.5, just phenomenal. Uh, of course, right here we have a pistol, therefore we have an SBA3 brace. Thank you, ATF, for retarded arbitrary rules. Free men don't ask for permission. So where does the Triarch sit in relation to other firearms? Where, what do I recommend it for? The Triarch is in every way, shape, and form. Ready for military, ready for law enforcement, ready for all your boogaloo needs, all your basement operating needs, home defense, whatever you, you want to throw at it, it is 1000% ready for those types of applications. The Triarch stays and cements itself in its place with other high-end manufacturers of AR-15s. So I can't recommend this enough. These particular weapons started at around 1500, which I think is a really good value considering what you're getting for the price. So we need extra options, obviously like the nicer trigger costs like an extra 25. So some of the little things start adding up, but I think it is 1000% worth it. I know for some people it might not be feasible financially. If you're looking for a rifle and you're sitting at around the, that price range, um, I would take a very hard look at the Triarch and consider picking it up because I have been absolutely impressed with the types of builds and the qualities that they've been putting out in the recent years. So way to go on them. Now, before we end the video, I know you guys are gonna to wanna to talk a little bit about my setup. So let's talk about how I have this particular rifle set up here. So starting off at the front, I have a PEC-15 for uh, night vision use. I uh, shot this in quite a bit at night. We have an air sock mount. Now the air sock mount has one of their newer uh, PEC-15 type mounts, I believe it's the OSM. That puts it closer to the PEC uh, makes for a smaller package, tighter package. <laughs> that way I can get it through tight spaces. God, this is getting weird. Um, so anyhow, we have that. Going back from there, we have the Unity Tactical Mount. We have the newer one. Front button is laser, back is laser and light together. We'll talk more about um, why you might have that type of setup. Can't recommend it enough. Uh, Unity Tactical makes some wonderful products. 
I have a piece of tape going around there to secure the wires. Also, you never know when you need tape, so we have that right there. We have right here a Ferro Concepts Slingster running from the left-hand side over to the opposite for a right-handed shooter. Learned that from Garrett, my good buddy over at Cogworks. From there, we have an EOTech EXPS 3-0. I'm a big fan of the EOTech sites. I know that the battery life isn't great, but um, they are extremely fast and I just love them. So I continue to put them on a lot of my rifles despite uh, some of the many disadvantages that they have. In any case, ladies and gentlemen, um, as cool as this rifle looks and as well as it shoots, if you don't know how to shoot, it's not gonna shoot any better for you. So make sure you get training. Tons of great training companies out there that can help you out. Bear Solutions, Cogworks, um, Pat McNamara, Esoteric, Darcy, uh, tons of guys out there. Just go out there, check them out, get that training, be good at what you do. So the tool absolutely matters. Get yourself a good tool, but at the same time, if you're not skilled with it, it's not gonna matter. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. I appreciate everything you guys have done for me. You guys take care of yourselves. I got nothing else for you. Okay, last thing for you guys. So um, this video should be, I believe, my last video in the in the year of 2019. So my last thing I wanna to say to you guys, even if you're watching this in the future, um, sit down, take some quiet time, um, review the year for yourself. It's something that I always do. I think it's very important to look at yourself objectively. Good, bad, what you can do better, neutral. Um, how is your time management? How did you act to other people? How's your financial management? How, is, how did you educate yourself? How did you get better from the year 2018? It's important that we have progression for ourselves. Otherwise, uh, what are we exactly doing? So make sure you take a little look at yourselves, figure out what you need to do better. And I hate fucking New Year's resolutions, but in any case, resolve to be better in 2020 in a multitude of ways, whatever ways you need to improve yourselves. Guys, thank you for watching. You know, if you've watched this long, you were some of my most dedicated fans. And you know that what helps me out the most is Patreon. My Patreon subscribers are literal rock stars and they help, <laughs> that rifle almost fell, they help buy new cameras, lights, memory cards, which I break on a very consistent basis. So I can't thank you guys enough. Um, production values are going up because of you and you guys absolutely rock. So subscribe to Patreon if you want help and be one of those ultra fans out there. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. You take care of yourselves. Here comes 2020.